Hello and hey, thank you for around with Golf With Your Friends, this time the 2022 update to the Haunted Classic Guide. Haunted is a very hard course and the back nine is an absolute nightmare. You guys are not going to like me even though I'm trying to help as best I can. The shots are just hard. That's how I feel about it for real. Anyway, let's get to the shots. Hole number one, going to give you something a little different. Spin around to our left, full power. Getting just left of the corner here. I like to look at the bottom trim for a little bit of brown peeking through. Kind of a weird thing to say, but if you get within a pixel of this, you'll still be right next to the hole. So it's a very safe shot, despite leaving the course entirely. But a hole in one, nonetheless. Hole two. This shot can be pretty specific if you're going for the hole in one. But if you go anywhere near here, you'll just be on the other side with no problem. We go pretty much three and a half aiming the left side of the triangle on top of our cursor against the center line. And that's what we're aiming for right here. You can kind of make sure that you line it up if you really, really want to get this hole in one. Kind of specific. We need to hit the the rim of the uh, hole and bounce off that back wall to come back in. Hole three. This shot's been in the game for a long time. Aim right at the little circle on this buckle type thing on the right side. Going just above two power. About two and a sixth, two and an eighth. Somewhere in there. It is possible to kind of catch a weird bounce and not quite have the speed, but you'll have to play with it. That's just like a random pixel or two within that range. Hole four. I'll actually show you the shot that doesn't leave the course. We're going to go just under full power. Bouncing off the chair leaving us in a spot for a very simple two. But if you want to see the hole-in-one, and it, I do think it's an easy shot, we're going to aim full power at the right side of that far wooden arch. Full power, and I have not missed that on this physics update even once. So it, it's it's possible. You guys, you guys can do it. Hole five, going to show you a fairly specific two shot. I like to aim the right side of our cursor, uh, just right of the buckle that you see on, on screen. And as a second shot, I like to aim the left side of our cursor on the white line that you're seeing it on right now. That should be an easy two, at least 95% of the time. It's possible if you go too far left on your first shot that that won't go in. Hole six, we'll start with a straight forward two, because you can go forward onto the cart. We'll show that in a bit. But I like to go four up and four over to the right, aiming full power, dead center, right on that corner. Making sure not to hit the cart as it goes by, because it does have collision. And the second shot, we go just over two power. I like to go just over. Like, I like to see the little bit of yellow peeking through as we aim at that buckle. Letting go, of course, when there's no cart. That'll go in. But I'll show the hole in one. I'm not particularly good at this shot, but I like to aim here. If you're early, you can aim just under two power, kind of aiming in the same spot that we aimed for the second shot. Again, it's it's one of the most skillful holes in the game, so don't be mad if you can't do it, because I, I suck at it. I honestly do. Hole seven, this can be pretty specific. I like to go three and three quarters power, left side against that doorknob, and I like to go when the ghost is about to show the bottom circle on the bottom. Uh, if you get anywhere near that, it'll be down in that bowl. So don't stress too much. That's a hard shot as well. Hole 8, another hard shot. Pretty specific. We're going to go 3 and like almost not 0.85 maybe. Try to aim the right side of my cursor on the red tile that it is currently on. Very specific shot. We want to go just over the bucket. If we have a little bit more power, it still stays in the course. But if we hit it just like that, it bounces off the back of the hole up and in for the hole in one. Hole nine, we're going to aim at this line on the wall. I like to make sure I'm on the left side of the line because it's a couple pixels wide. Letting go with full power. Shot number two can feel really specific. I like to make sure that the left side of my cursor is Almost, but not quite in line with the tile that's one up the hill and two from the left. <laughs> but it's really specific again. I'm so sorry. 
Every shot from here on out is going to be so specific. Hole 10, we need to go a very specific number of pixels under full power, aiming kind of where the circular pillar meets the wall down there. That's where, that's sort of my guide point of where I'm aiming. If you have, uh, like, full power, you will make it over into the area, so it's not ultra-specific just to make the shot, but to get the hole-in-one, you do have to have this very specific amount of power, aiming in a narrow range of pixels. That one took me a little more than normal, but totally fine with it. Hole 11 used to have a very easy hole-in-one. Uh, my recommendation is to aim... See these two hashes here? Aim between the middle of the tops of them. That'll get you very, very close. It looks like you could adjust it very slightly and get a hole-in-one, but the boundary box does prevent that, unfortunately. The hole-in-one is also extremely difficult. Not even sure it's possible on shot number one, but it looks like this if you wanted to go for it. This is probably the hardest on the hole, though. Just wanted to show it off. Hole 12. We'll show you the easy shot first. Aim straight forward, full power, get us right on the center line. I kind of messed around with this for a little bit because I just felt like I couldn't get my mouse right. But I want to make sure you're dead center, give you the best chance for shot number two. And then the giant bookcase in the back, there's two orange books there. The, we go left of the left orange one on the very bottom shelf. Full power, and I'll reset. But that obviously would have gone in. And the hole in one is, again, I do not recommend this, but if you wanted to see it, it looks like this. Again, don't know if that's possible in the first shot. I don't generally go for it, but just, just showing you, it's, it's technically possible. Hole 13, easy shot first. We go just over three power, like three and an eighth, aiming at the right side of the left tile of this hill. You'll see what I mean if you look at it in game and kind of like, oh, okay. That gives you an easy two on this par four, but I'll show you the hole in one, which is a very, again, specific shot and not recommended to be gone for. But I do want to show these things when I know they're possible. I got pretty lucky to get this bounce, but you do need the bounce off the corner to get it to go into the hole. So don't go for that, but it's there. Hole 14, kind of tricky when it gets to the timing and power. We want to aim just left of the center line if we're going for the hole in one, taking this much power off it very exactly uh and we go right as the wind is about to blow us so that we jump after one hop into the hole off the coffin directly into the hole that is the best chance for a hole in one not easy hole 15 ease it up a little bit we're gonna aim at the i guess like the top side you see that little buckle that goes above the wall we're gonna aim right at that that line taking the littlest bit of power off, where the full bar is full, but the cursor is no longer wiggling. That gives us the best chance for a two here, as we now aim for the first set of buttons on the couch of the upholstery, just right of the bookshelf. So you'll be very, very close. It won't bounce you out if you kind of mess this up, and just play with it a little bit. It's an eagle. It's easier than it sounds. I'm so sorry for this back nine. Hole 16, again, this is one of those shots you kind of just have to play it for yourself. But if you want to follow for a two, you go full power. I like to aim where these two wall pieces connect, where the trim connects of them specifically. And of course, the book will go down only when you don't want it to be there. We go full power on this shot. Followed up, I'll move the camera inside, followed up by a three power shot where I like to aim between the two green books on the bottom shelf, or you can kind of go a touch to the right between the orange and green book on the middle shelf. Uh, but you want to be basically exactly three power. Like, no, you do not want to see that little bar over, or it'll be slightly too strong. It's, it's something you'll have to play with, especially if you end up in a slightly different position. You don't always end up in the same pixel like I have here. It's hard. It's very hard. I'm sorry. The course is hard. I know I keep apologizing, I'm sure some of you are super annoyed by it, but it's just a hard course. 
Hole 17, we're going to go straight forward-ish, taking some off of full. It's not specific at all. There is a, a hard two that I will show after this. But for the second shot of the easy way, I usually go three power aiming kind of wherever. Usually has enough power that it'll bounce back on the course if it looks like it's about to bounce back off. And then you want to just get into the hole from here. This is, don't, this is not an exact shot. You probably would want to shoot over there, but... If we just kind of throw one off, I even almost bounced off the course, but it kind of looks like that. I'll go ahead and show the hard shot. Hard shot, we want to take the smallest visible amount off of full. So it's like this tiniest little sliver aiming right here and almost only right here. It's a couple pixels wide, but it's very, very hard. It's also kind of difficult to get just the single pixel off of uh, the power bar, but we're going to try our best and let it fly when we get it. That'll make us bounce off the web and just barely over that railing, putting us right here or a little bit closer, from which I like to look at the bookshelf that is two left of the pot going three and a half power i have to aim just to the inside of the right side of it it's almost impossible to describe but if you're going for this you're going to be willing to make that sacrifice and then once we let it loose it'll be even still a little bit off center so it again an incredibly tough shot i don't recommend it but if you go for it it's not super risky Hole 18. I'm not going to show you three pixel perfect shots, so just kind of use this as a loose guide. I like to shoot just left of one to the right and six forward tiles. I like to get basically as close as I can to this wall without like really feeling like I could hit it. We're just trying to get to the center here. There's nothing specific about that shot whatsoever. And then for last, because I know that this pixel produces a lot of same results, I'm going to shoot at this buckle right here when I have a free space. But this is, again, not required. If you're far back, you can shoot hard, and it probably stays on, but sometimes it doesn't. It's a hole where if you get par, feel good about yourself, because they've made a lot of changes to make it not as fun. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick it in from here. I could show you the same exact thing over because if I move my second shot one pixel to the right it probably goes in but who wants to see that it doesn't really matter anyway this has been haunted thanks for watching I won't apologize begin again because I've said it 76 times already but yeah it's a hard course so used to be a good one it's degraded over time it's but it's always been one of the least popular black lights ever made so yeah that's a lot so we're, <laughs> we'll take it down uh, I'll try to get some more out before any updates come, but it is what it is. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be safe, guys.